what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Executor from Pokemon. His number 103 on the Pokedex. And let's get started. What do we need? Well, we need some black wool, brown wool, yellow wool, white wool, green wool, and then a couple blocks of lime wool. And I got him from CandyPatterns.com. Description down below. So let's line up and start this going. So we're going to begin with three blocks of our black wool. So one, two, three. And then three blocks of brown wool, three blocks of brown wool, and two blocks of brown wool. So that's going to be like one of his first little legs stump thingies. Because this is just a weird Pokemon. It's it's a pump tree with eyes. But let's keep going though. So we're going to place one, two, three on the right. And then on this side, we are going to place two black wool so let me take my headset off because the batteries died so i'm doing this with no audio but hopefully that shouldn't shouldn't affect very much okay so after we have this we're gonna place five black wool so one two three four five the next to this five black wools so we're gonna place three brown wools and then three black wools underneath and then we're gonna go up by three on the left side. So one, two, three. Two brown wools. One brown wool. So now let's add one, two black wools of diagonal. Did that make any sense? We're gonna place those two diagonal black wools. So now let's take a step back. This is what we have for our palm tree Pokemon at Secutor. So pause it if you need to. I felt like it kind of went quickly, but I'm going to try to slow down for the next videos. Or for the rest of this video, more specifically. Okay, so we're going to place one black wool. And then next to this black wool, we're going to go up by four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And then a block to the right. And a block to the left. Then we're going to place one brown and one black. Then above the brown wool block, we're going to go up by four black wool. So one, two, three, four. We're going to grab our yellow wool and we're going to place four yellow wool. So one, two, three, four. Right next to the black. I should have said that first, but make sure you have added those four yellow wools next to the black. And then right below it, we're going to do five blocks of our black. Not five, I'm sorry. Four blocks of our black wool. So we're left with this big empty area that we're going to fill in with some brown wool. Let's do that right now. And then a black wool next to the yellow. A brown below that. And then starting this one brown wool block, we're going to go up by six black wool. So one, two, three, four five and six we're gonna add two black wools on the right of this so on the top of the six black wools we're gonna place two black wools going towards the right so now we're gonna work on the middle face of the pump tree the middle head which is gonna be right here so we're gonna finish that one so we're gonna place three white wools one two three then a black wool, two white wools, and two black wools. So that's going to be his two little eyeballs. It's going to be the one eyeball and the second eyeball. And then we can grab our white wool. And starting here, we're going to place four blocks of our white wool. Then on the top here, we're going to place one, two, three blocks of our yellow wool and then one black wool so we're left with this like shape that almost looks like a C so we're gonna fill it in awesome so now we did the first head now we're gonna start on this second head on the left and you see this one area here we're gonna make it over here too so that makes any sense we're gonna place one black wool right there like parallel to the one on this side 
Then we're going to grab our yellow wool and we're going to go up by four blocks. One, two, three, four. Then a white wool. Below that white wool, we're going to place one black wool. And then a white wool. We're going to place a black below the white. And we're going to go up by three black wools up the side. And then we're going to place two black wools on the top. And there we go. We have finished the left head. So now we're going to do the one on the right. And for the one on the right, we're going to place three yellow wools. A black wool. Then four yellow wools. And we're going to go up by three on this side. So one, two, three. We're going to place one yellow, two black, and one yellow on that row. Now we're going to grab our yellow and we're going to place four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to grab our black wool. We're going to place one black wool, two yellow wools, and one black. Two black wools on the top. And there we go. We have finished that head. And look at that. We didn't finish this one. We got to do three black wools and one in the middle. Now we can take a step back. Make sure you guys have this so far. So we have the tree trunk. We have the, the coconuts or the palm tree. I don't think palm, do palm trees have coconuts. Maybe. Where do coconuts come from? Oh my god. I should know this. I'm going to go that coconut comes from palm trees. But that doesn't sound right. But... I think it does. Okay, whatever. So we have the palm tree, we have the brown, we have the yellow. Now we just have to do the green part for this Pokemon. And I'm going to have to Google where coconuts come from. I'm sure they come from palm trees, but I could be completely wrong. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that... Do you see these two black wool blocks here? Well, we got to put five on the top. But we're going to have to do something different first. Because we need to place three green wools in this little gap. And then starting on the first green wool, we can put our five blocks of black wool. So one, two, three, four, five. Then here we're going to go one black, one green, two lines, and a green. Then a black. Two lines. Then right below this, we're going to fill it in with two lines and a green. Now we're going to go back to this like whole area and we're going to place two green wools. Then two lines. A black. And a green. Now starting right here where we left off on the second layer of the green part. That doesn't sound right, but on the second layer of like the, the green part of the bushes. Of the leaves of the palm tree. There we go, the leaves. We're going to place one green wool. One lime. Then a black. Then we're going to place a green. Now we can take a little break. Pause it if you guys need to. Alright, so now what we're going to do is that right here, we actually need to place two lime wools. Then two green. One black. Now, what we're going to do is that starting on top of this green, we're going to place five black wool. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do one. We're going to place a green, two limes. Then starting on top of this green wool, we're going to place five black wool. So, one, two, three, four, five. 
Then right where these two line wools are, we're going to go straight up and we're going to place two more black wools on top of the five black wools. Then here we're going to place a green and three line wools like so. Below this line we're going to place one black wool. Starting in this green we're going to place four black wools. Then three green wools like so. Just one, two, three. Then three black wools going up the side. One black wool. We're going to grab our line wool this time. And we're going to place one, two, three, four. On the top here, we're going to place four black wools moving towards the right. So one, two, three, four. And then one. Green wool and black wool. We're going to go over here now and we're going to place one, two, three. And then up. We're going to grab our line wool. We're going to place two blocks. And then line wool on top of this black. And we're going to place one black wool here. So now we can take a step back. As you can tell, the outline is now finished for this palm tree. And all that we have left to do is to grab our green wool and just fill in the empty blocks. Okay, so there we go. That was kind of complicated, but the rest of the build was pretty easy. So hopefully you guys did what I did and we finished together building an executor Pokemon number 103 on the Pokedex. And I'm pretty sure that coconuts come from palm trees. So if that's not the case, let me know how much of an idiot I am down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button for us. Subscribe if you haven't so you can stay up to date with all our newest videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Tell your friends about us and we'll see you next time.